Hey everyone! So today we're going to talk about how to experience quarantine and deal with fear. Basically, how to shift from fear to love for each human design type. I decided to address this subject which is very relevant at this time. So let's see how each of the types can shift from fear to state of peace or well-being. I would also love to invite you, my friends. Please do share what has been beneficial for you at this time so we can all feel better and help each other. Thank you so much. My name is Barji. I am a general guide here to inspire, empower and support you to be your most precious, authentic self. I'll just go on and serve you the answer. So it's bringing awareness into the now. It's getting grounded in our body and conscious of this moment in time. Now, how do we do that? Before I share the methods for each type, I would like to talk about the spleen center. So check your human design chart and see if your spleen is open or closed or rather defined or undefined. So. Spleen is an awareness center. It is center for well-being, intuition, as well as fears. There are seven primary fears that reside in the spleen, connected to seven gates, obviously. <laughs> so for people with the open spleen means that whatever energies are around them, they can magnify them, they can expand them. They are very sensitive to well-being of others and that can sense how someone, I mean, sorry, and also can sense how someone else is feeling. So really tell me if you can relate to that, if your spleen is undefined. So I would say for all of you guys with the open spleen, at this challenging time, with so much fear around, it is best that you stay in quarantine or self-isolation. This way you won't get sucked into collective fear and your immune system will stay stronger. And not just that, it will be so happy, your body will be, will be grateful for you, <laughs> to you. So if you do feel lonely, reach out to people who feel good and people who will ground you, you know, just really make you feel good and not bring you more fear because this is not what you need right now. However, the thing is when you are overridden um, by fear, you can't make rational decisions because your survival is at stake or so you believe. And that's completely normal. That goes for everyone, right? So for everyone with an open spleen, this time also provides you with a great chance to become really wise about fears. This is in a way an opportunity for you to overcome fears because they are constant in your system, you know, like with a person who has a defined spleen. So that can be your advantage. So when you feel the fear, you can actually confront it and don't take it as your own. So when this awareness happen, uh, happens, you can over time notice how different people bring different sensations in your body as if a light switch goes on and this doesn't need to stay. It just transforms the energy. You can transform the energy with, with the with, just with awareness. That said, Notice how people make you feel. Surround yourself with the right people. That's really important. And at this time, if you can't possibly bear the environment you're in, self-isolation is key. Because otherwise, your body will react and you won't feel well physically and emotionally. So yeah, keep that in mind. Right now, quarantine is really a good, a good thing for you, for your body, for your mind, and just being away from all, you know, these uh, groups of people who are now really feeling this collective fear. So try to be conscious and because this open center that you have is also, as I said, source of your wisdom. 
So tap into that right now. Don't feel that you're a victim, but really seize this opportunity because it has a gift for you, okay? Okay. All right. Let's go and check the human design types now. I would first like to make a distinction between energy and non-energy type. So energy types are generators and manifesting generators. So for energy types, I believe this isolation might be harder to a certain degree because I know you guys need to be active, you need to work. So unless you work from home, I advise you one thing. So first generators, take advantage of not being pressured. If you have, I don't know, a job where there was, you know, time pressure, let's say in the office, I hope this has changed for you, or at least there is no peer pressure as, you know, there is no one around you as you work from home all alone. So I suggest, I suggest you really find your rhythm, do one thing at a time. I also suggest you, um, I also suggest you to, if you feel it's safe, do daily walks or just 20 minutes and just 20 minutes will suffice or go on a balcony to get some fresh air you can dance in your apartment do a little bit of you know like 20 minutes physical exercise to stretch to shift the energy in your body and just really wear out your sacral and if you know if you don't work right now it's really important to find your rhythm you know, maybe also to establish a new routine. And the most important thing, engage yourself in an activity that you love. Really try to enjoy yourself by immersing into one thing at a time and do something that you enjoy. You know, don't waste your energy for something that where, you know, where it will just take your energy or make you feel, you know, in the end of the day all... Ex- um, not excited I wanted to say um, tired or yeah just uh, you know what I'm talking about really listen to yourself you can also follow your heart your authority whatever works but engage yourself in activity that you love okay and the same goes for manifesting generators but for you my dear I can imagine being still must be crazy. I mean, you are such a I don't know, productive, <laughs> like energy type. Feels like you know this Dorsal rabbit is could be your nickname. I don't know. This is how I see you. Okay, a joke aside, I suggest you plan out for at least a day ahead all different activities which are you know which either relax your mind, your body, or both, whatever does the trick for you. Let's say having weights at home, do yoga, play with kids, meditation, and so on. And, you know, if you're working, if you're working from home, again, really just plan out your day, or you can also plan out your week ahead. Like, it's really important that, you know, you see that there are a lot of things, there are opportunities, there are, you know, that it's not just one thing and that you don't get frustrated at just feeling stuck. So that your energy is always on a go, that's always flowing. And it, most important, use this time to imagine how you would build your near future. Like, may this be your motivation to shift your energy. So how can you use your gifts to make the future better for yourself, your family, your tribe, the planet, whatever is the thing for you? Also, when you look at the future, which things you wish to keep? What is there to change? So... Go in with your whole self, with your heart. Go wild, go big, plan and enjoy. Okay, so define sacred, guys. We have you covered. The most important thing is to engage 
and direct your energy. If you need more guidance, you know, you can always talk to your projector's friends, so <laughs> know that. They're just there waiting to be asked, so yeah, have that in mind. All right, let's go to undefined sacrals. So I will, I will start with projectors. Now, it's this is a really good time for you guys. It's a really good time for you to rest, to take advantage that finally all your generator family had to slow down. I mean, woohoo, right? <laughs> and I don't want to be mean, but it's just really pleasant that now no one can really, you know, race outside. So yeah, guys, what I mean isn't, uh, you know, I mean, what I wanted to say is that isn't this like a dream come true almost? I don't know. I mean, okay, we want, we don't want this virus thing, but still, um, I, what I wanted to say is now it's a really good time for you to be yourself. Use the time for self-awareness, for deconditioning, because this is how projectors can really rise and also show their gifts by being authentic. You know, not mimicking or um, trying to be generators as we all have been taught. It's really important, you know, to be yourself now. And by decondi deconditioning, I mean, you know, where do you operate as your non-self? And I was talking about this already. So really check which your which of your um, centers are open, like we, where, which are the questions or which are the struggles that you're one you you're living and that aren't really yours to to live and really just focus on who are you like who i mean who are you um what can you what can you give um what can what can you provide because it's not about you it's really about you serving okay so I would invite you to take time for meditation, for self-reflection, journaling, also some bath, creative projects, reading, just really slowing down because you can. Now it's ideal time for you. And the thing is that um, uh, the thing that can get you going is to think about how can you show up as a guide how can you be an example for others? You know, is there anything you would like to contribute to, you know, to society, to your family, to yourself, you know, or show to the world? Now it's really the, your chance, my dear projector. And this can also mean how would you like to show up in your life for yourself? Like what are the priorities you would like to reevaluate? Re so go with that, okay? And I know I was saying um, how to shift fear, but it's really also important to have something, you know, to look, uh, to look for. So that's why I'm, I'm just kind of trying not to, I'm trying to shift your attention to the things that matter, the things that will kind of give you drive to pull you out of this situation that you might be right now. So really seize the day seize each moment because each moment counts okay thank you my dear projector okay reflector friends for you if you can be in touch with nature right now oh that's so crucial and what i mean by that is to hug trees walk on the grass swim in the ocean or be around rivers around water and you know just do whatever feels right for you because I know I'm sure you know best how to fill up your well and I would also say that isolation might be beneficial for you as the state of everyone right now can be too much for you to bear or to feel unless you know you've done so much self-awareness that this doesn't take a toll on your system but I would still suggest that you feel up your well daily with connecting to nature, with your heart, and just soak love from other earth in your system and really look after yourself first. 
okay and this is how and then you will know what to do how to serve one moment at a time okay thank you thank you dear reflector many fasters you guys are natural leaders so now it is time to deal with others not with yourself so of course meditation enough sleep and all is essential for you but focus on others so where can you make an impact at this time this is a good question for you so the only thing i would say um, to you is when you make decisions make sure you follow your authority and don't operate from the place of fear so just as i the same as i said to all uh, types before really bring bring in awareness bring in consciousness so the more you're conscious of every moment of your state of well-being the more you have control over yourself over others as i mean over others you know over situation okay and all the rest you know it's easy for you as you've been on the front lines for so many years and we totally believe in you and trust you so good luck my friend okay so that was it i'm really curious what you think like and also please let me know what are your tricks um these days you know to stay grounded what helps you um and i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to support me so thank you so so much and i wish you much much peace and stay well my friends okay see you next time bye